Assalamu alaikum guys, this is Ahmed Maurer, aka Mr. Middlepath. I got my hat on because the sun is in my eyes, but if you want to see my eyes, there you go. Alright, and then you can just imagine them under the hat while I talk. This is intro to my weed series, basically. The way I'm doing this is, instead of just doing how to quit weed, I'm also making this series on why someone should quit weed, because there's a growing movement or a growing mentality or understanding amongst the people that weed is good for you right so that argument has to be analyzed and looked at from multiple different angles so that we can see is recreational weed use actually good for you so I do part of the videos on weed use the history of weed use in Muslim history if that makes sense so basically how was weed used throughout Muslim history because Right now, even though weed is haram in Islam, and I'm going to talk about that later because there are people who say that it's not, and that argument has to be analyzed too and dissected, but ha Muslim countries are the biggest exporters of hash and opium, even though technically in the religion hash and opium are forbidden. So that's just showing you the state of the Muslim world today. I am a Muslim, so I'm going to look at it from that point of view because that is what I know and that is also what I've studied and researched. Then I'm going to look at it through the lens of modern science and the modern research studies that have been done on it, although the modern research studies that have been done on it are not that well done because weed has been illegal for a very long time. So the, the studies were, were limited in how, how much weed they could get, the type, the quality, how they could experiment with people, the people coming in and reporting of their weed use, maybe they were lying, maybe they uh, underreported, maybe they overreported, maybe they misrepresented their weed use. So there's a lot of problems with the scientific studies out there, but there are some really good ones that are well done despite the problems that scientists and researchers face in researching this issue, right? And then third of a third is going to be my personal observations, right? I'm 27 years old, so I do have some life experience now take that as what you will but I know people who have smoked weed I've seen how it affected their lives I've known people who have well I'm not gonna get into it right now because this is the intro video but please watch the other videos you'll see what I'm talking about and I've also worked in a psychiatric hospital and I've seen firsthand uh, things from a medicinal point of view the things that goes on behind the scenes that people might not know about right so Basically, there's a big rosy picture that weed is the best thing that ever happened to mankind. It's completely fine. It's completely normal. It's completely okay. That's what's going to be dissected, right? So how to quit weed will come after the why to quit weed. And if you don't smoke, I'm sure you know friends that do consume marijuana in various ways, whether it's through smoking or not smoking, huh? So please share this video with them and let them know about it. Take care. Peace out. Assalamu alaikum.